know how to really get time today, Samantha. Yeah, me too. We should do this again sometime. Yeah, totally. What about Friday? I'm not sure. I might have to work. Saturday? Uh, you know, my mom needs me to watch her plants for her. Sunday? Uh, church. Isn't that only a morning thing? Uh, I'm volunteering to help spread the word of Jesus after. What about next weekend? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll text you. Cool. I don't have her phone number. So how'd it go? What do you think? I don't know, that's why I asked. Liv, did you not just hear me at the front door? Barely. So I'm guessing Mr. Jim Hottie wasn't as great as you thought? No, I mean, he was fine. It's not like he isn't interested. We just have nothing in common. And he kept talking about how he's bulking and cutting. And I was like, what even is that? And then he started talking about how he switched from a primarily salmon diet to organic chicken. I swear, gym boys are so hot, but like, are you interested in anything else? <laughs> Sounds like you had a great night. Ha ha. Okay, so he's obsessed with the gym. It could be a lot worse. Oh, I know. Exactly. Wait. He started talking about his ex-girlfriend, who always went to the gym with him. Oh. Yeah. I wish there was a way to find Mr. Wright without having to go through all these bad options. I mean, I've had the catfish, the slob, the workaholic, the psychotic, the control freak, and now the guy who only knows how to talk about gym stuff. I mean, Sam, it just takes time. That's the whole point of young adulthood. You figure it out as you go along. I mean, nothing in your life with meaning came without work, right? You did. Okay, well, that's the only exception. What? I think I have an idea. Come on, tell me here. One second. Are you kidding me? Come on, tell me here. Well, it's kind of weird compared to what you're used to, because, you know, I don't know, but my cousin did it a couple years ago, and it actually really worked for her. I can't believe I think about it before. Yeah. It was just like... Okay, well, a couple years ago, my cousin went to a psychic. Okay, why is that weird? I don't know, because they ask you a lot of questions and then don't really give you a lot of answers. Okay. But it looks like there's a few different packages now, so who knows? Okay, what's the phone number? Come on, they're definitely not open. Okay, we should try anyway. Fine. Here's the number. Okay. 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 Hello? Hi. Uh, I just got your number from a friend of mine. Are you a psychic? Yes. Okay, I was, I heard you offer a way to find someone's life partner. Yes, yes, life partner, soulmate, love bond, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I was wondering if I could set up an appointment to meet with you? Yes, what package deal would you like? Well, what do you have? Well, there's the name, description, family details, zodiac sign, occupation, and medical history for 800. The name, zodiac sign, and medical history for... Is there any way we can just get the name and description for cheap? No, package deal is package deal. You'll take it or leave it. Okay, what else do you have? Well, there is the name alone for 50 bucks. Sold. When should I come see you? Tomorrow at noon, too soon. No, see you then. Well? I'll figure out the name tomorrow at noon. That was fast. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go watch Belly make the worst decision of her life. Alright. I'm heading out. Ooh, okay. Tell me how it goes. I will. Morning. Morning. You seem to be in a rush. Yeah, I just have an appointment to get to. I'll see you later. See you later. Lucy Lou? Like the actress? Come in, come in, come in. I take a seat past the door. I come in, come in, come in. I'll show you what you're looking for. A tall, dark, handsome, and sweet. Come on, girl, give me a hand. I come in, come in, come in. I take a seat past the door. I come in, come in, come in. 
I'll show you what you're looking for. Ah, welcome, welcome, come in, Samantha. Wait, how do you know my name? Girl, call her ID. The psychic reading hasn't begun yet. Sit, sit. Uh, is your name actually Lucy Liu? Yes, why? Don't people get you confused for the actress? No, she's L-I-U, I'm L-O-O. -O. Oh. No. Will you be paying with Venmo cash at PayPal check or just straight cash? Um, I guess cash? Great, anyway, now, in order for this to work, I need you to concentrate. Close your eyes and clear your mind. Uh, okay. Open. Where am I? You're in your mind. Why can't I hear you but I can't see you? Well, your mind is still here in my place, but you've sunk deeper into your conscious so we can explore your mind. You feel like your eyes are open, but in reality, your eyes are still closed. Whoa. Now, for this to work, I need you to explore your mind. There should be a door. A door? I'm in a dark room. Turn around. Oh. Do you see it? Yeah. Now knock. Okay. That's weird. It sounds hollow. Hollow? Like the door is hollow or something inside hollow? Um, I guess something inside is hollow. It doesn't sound like a normal door. Open it. Are you sure? How else are we going to discover the name? Okay. Whoa. What do you see? Where are you? I'm outside. I think I'm in a meadow? A meadow? Uh, yeah. Just a meadow. There doesn't seem to be anything else around. That's it? Nothing else? Nope. Just a meadow. Okay. I think we've explored your mind enough. Okay, well, how do I get back? Right. Uh, close your eyes and count backwards from three. Okay. Three, two, one... All right, I think I have the name. Already? Yes. You got a name just from me knocking on a door and being in a meadow? Yes. Interesting. Now, I get the feeling this will not be what you expect. I sent you come for magic, but it will take work, and not the kind of work you expect. Okay, what is it? What's his name? Your soulmate's name. It's Logan. Dum, dum, dum. You got what you wanted, get out of my way. Uh, give me your money and get on with your day. Uh, get out, get out, get out. I told you what you're looking for. Uh, get out, get out, get out. Don't have enough money for more. Don't have enough money for more. And don't let the door hit you. What? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. There's no way. There's literally no way. Well, I paid 50 bucks. Uh, and she told me it wouldn't be what I expected. You need a redo. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> Sam, this isn't some guy I'm talking about. This is my brother. Yeah, I know. I mean, Libby, it's, it's not that bad. I mean, technically, we'd be sisters. <laughs> okay, like, our dream when we were six would come true, but that's not what we want now. You'd be marrying my brother. I don't want to think about you guys. In any way, shape, or form. Yeah, Levy, can we just talk about this another night? Let's have a girl's night instead. I'll even go get you that ice cream you like. The expensive one? Yeah, Levy, the expensive kind. With extra candy for toppings? Sure, I'm Libby. Fine. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get the expensive ice cream and the extra candy for toppings, and when I get back, we'll plan our girl's night. Okay, we'll hurry back, then we can figure out what movie we're going to watch. Okay. Oh, this sucks. There's an ice cream shop, and I know this is close enough. 
Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm just glad I didn't drop the ice cream that my friend didn't want. Why the ice cream? Rough breakup? No, we're just having a girls night and it was her turn to pick the ice cream. <laughs> well, I gotta go get some chips, but it was nice meeting you. Uh, Samantha, but everyone calls me Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. And you are? I'm Logan. What? I said, I'm Logan. Is there a problem? No. I just thought you said, um, propane. Propane? Okay. Um, you know, I just see some really weird stuff sometimes, and I don't know. Well, it was nice to meet you, Sam. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, wait. Yeah? Would you maybe like to hang out sometime? I mean, I have ice cream, you're going to get chips, all we're really missing is a couple drinks. Uh, sure. Here's my number. Oh, cool. Um, I'll call you or text you, whatever's more convenient. Uh, maybe text, so I don't think the direction is one of the ones. Yeah, for sure. Um, cool. Would you like my number two, you know, just in case? Sure. Cool. 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 He literally just said that. So they didn't have the ice cream you wanted, so I have this to close it up. Seriously? The one that I wanted it too. I know. I'm really sorry, especially since, um... Don't even say it. Okay. <laughs> Did you at least get the candy, though? Uh, no, I couldn't find it. What? No, I'm totally kidding, dude. I literally got you Butterfingers. Oh, that is so not funny. <laughs> but since you got me Butterfingers, I can forgive you. What do you want to watch, anyway? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, we could do horror, we could do slasher, we could do comedy, we could do sci-fi. Ooh, definitely not sci-fi. Last time we did sci-fi, I couldn't stop thinking about the idea of aliens coming to abduct us and making them their human wives and birthing their children. Scary thought. Anyway, we could do a basic comedy, or we could watch that one documentary about Tinder. What's it called? Tinder Swindler? Samantha! Huh? Yeah. Thoughts? Um, we can watch Tinder Swindler if you want. You pick. Why? You didn't get the ice cream you wanted. Yeah, but you got ice cream and Butterfingers, so pick. Okay. Um... How about a rom-com? Maybe one with Drew Barrymore? Maybe an Adam Sandler one. Or, um, uh, maybe an Adam Sandler comedy? Adam Sandler comedy movie? Which one? That's like saying green vegetable. Pick one. That's true. Um, how about Grown Ups? I really like that one scene with that one buff guy from Canada. Yes! Rose of Saskatoon! Oh my god, yes. Dude, I can't believe that guy that's so buff has such a weird voice. I know. Last night was fun. God, yeah, it was. I totally forgot how funny that movie was. Oh my god, that one scene where he's like, Mommy, I want food. <laughs> oh my god, stop it, like, stop oh it. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> well, there must be Logan. What? How'd you find out? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I kind of freaked out when he said the psychic told you my brother's name, so I tried to think of anyone else I knew named Logan. Libby. Well, I found someone. And he's from work, and he's one of the good ones, trust me. Libby. What? But seriously, how'd you find out? I didn't. That was part of the surprise. You remember last night when I went to go get that ice cream? Yeah. Okay, well, I ran into a guy. Okay, and? And his name is Logan. What? Are you kidding? No, are you? No. Oh, great. Now one of us has to get the door. One of us? You have to get the door. Why me? Because the Logan I found is expecting to meet my friend, Samantha. I highly doubt the Logan that you met would want to see me at the door. Okay, fine. Oh, hey, it must be Samantha. Your movie Libby invited me over. All right, yeah, she's here. Hey. Yeah, come on in. Hey. Hey, what's good? Everything good? Yeah, we just got coffee this morning, and the burrito she had last night isn't really sitting well with her. Yeah, usually that combo does really well, but uh, I guess not this time. I'm going to go to the bathroom and uh, leave you two to talk. Well, I wasn't expecting much company today. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I leave or should I wait in the car until Libby is better? No, I'm so sorry. That sounded so rude. I just meant that Libby didn't tell me she was having a friend come over today. Oh, well, for some reason I thought she wanted to be a surprise, but I have no clue why. I think she just wants me to find a nice guy. Ah. Uh. Not that I'm suggesting anything. I mean, we literally just met, and that would be, well, crazy. <laughs> well, she did tell me about her friend Samantha, who happens to be single, so, um... I hope she had that plan in mind. That makes one of us. What? Yeah, I had no idea you were coming over until the second you knocked on the door. What? Why didn't she tell you anything? Well, like you said, I guess she wanted it to be a surprise. Well, a good surprise, I hope. We just met. I don't know if it's a good surprise for a while. 
Well, that was fun. Did you guys talk about your mutual friend, Libby? Maybe a bit. Oh, all good things, I hope. For the most part. For the most part. She mentioned that she didn't know I was coming until a minute before you opened the door. Hmm, did she? Yeah, she did. Wait, is that why you had to go to the bathroom? <laughs> you got me. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I got it. No, it's okay. I don't really got it. No, I really got it, Sam. What are you doing here? I told you I was coming by today to get Mom's dish bag. Why couldn't she do it herself again? She has Pilates or something. She couldn't do it after? You really don't want me here. Hey, Sam. Hey. Guy, I don't know. This is my brother. Hi. Hey. I'm gonna go get my mom's dish. How's it going? It's going pretty good. How about you? Good. How's that ice cream? <laughs> it's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Here, come uh -huh. on in. Am I, uh, am I interrupting anything? Oh, no, sorry. This is my roommate's friend uh, from work. Hey. And this is her brother. Hey, Sam. Libby wants you in the kitchen. Okay. <sighs> Who could that be? Hey, I think your meal got sick. Not a good time. Sorry. Can you just leave it by the door? Sure. Thanks. Hey man, I'm Logan. Did you just say your name's Logan? Yeah, why? No way. I'm Logan too. Alright, this is too weird. Why is this weird? I'm also Logan. Whoa! What are we gonna do? I have no idea. 